I work with a lot of parents who used a sperm or an egg donor to become pregnant. And so I often get the question, do I have to tell people? Who should I tell? How should I tell them? There's a lot of anxiety around it, you know? So the first thing I say is it is absolutely your choice who you tell, who you don't tell. Maybe you don't want to tell anybody at all. It is absolutely a personal choice. There's no right or wrong answer. And you know, some people feel guilty for not sharing this information because we obviously live in the age of oversharing. And sometimes we feel, or like other people feel like it's their right to know every single thing about our life and that they should have told us. I had a friend that got mad at me for not sharing a very personal choice I made a long time ago and that totally fractured the relationship. It's like we have the right to keep certain aspects of our life to ourself. With that said, you might feel like you want to tell some people, you know, maybe you are grappling with being maybe frustrated that, you know, while you love the baby growing in your womb, you're not biologically related to the child. And maybe that's really hard for you. And you need somebody in addition to your partner, or maybe you're single, somebody to help you through that process. In which case, you should absolutely create a support network that is like a pillow of comfort for you. So to do this, really think long and hard about the people in your life that are always there for you, never give you the mm, face when you share information with them and that are good at keeping a secret. So make a list of these people, organize a time to meet with each one individually so you can share your exciting news. Because I do, I think it's so exciting that we have the capabilities to help people become pregnant with a sperm or an egg donor. It's amazing. So I want you to be able to celebrate that and celebrate the fact that you are pregnant. So go ahead and tell these people as you tell them, you know, get really specific about the type of support you need. Maybe again, you are feeling insecure about not being biologically related. Maybe, and this is a big one that I get from a lot of women and men is that they're really nervous to tell certain family members that they think will be judgmental. The big one that we're going to get into. Um, and at the end of this conversation with the trusted individuals, go ahead and just remind them that for now, this is something that you would like them to keep to themselves. Because what can be unfortunate is if one of those family members finds out from somebody else and it can create this whole thing. So the next thing to consider, how to tell family members. So of course, you do not, you are not under any obligation to tell anybody, but with family members, especially those you spend a lot of time with, it can be burden burdensome to have a secret, um, you know, especially if it's something that you plan to tell your child eventually, you can get into muddy waters when there's that secret. But again, that is totally your choice. I think if you really don't want to tell them, that is absolutely fine. If you decide that you want to, I recommend making a loose script of what you're going to tell them. You know, like I used an egg donor, for example, and I feel great with that choice. This is why I did it. I'm not telling you to receive your opinions or your judgments. I'm just letting you know. So it's the kind of conversation where you're not opening it up for discussion. Again, you are you're pregnant at this point. So it doesn't matter what they say, like you've made your choice and you are going to have a beautiful, amazing baby. If you are nervous that maybe you'll be attacked by these family members or judged or that it'll be a really tricky conversation, um, if you have a partner, definitely have them there. But if you want some additional support, it can be a good idea to ask somebody from that emotional support pillow that you've created, those special people, to come and, and join you and to be your advocate if people start to be unkind about your decision. Those are just some of my personal thoughts about this very personal decision. Um, again, my way is not the right way. Those are just some suggestions that I've used to help out different women and men that I've worked with. If you've had an experience with this, if you have found something else that works really well for navigating this uh, situation, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. Ask any questions or any 
any questions at all about pregnancy, childbirth, early motherhood, I'm here to provide support.